boardroom battle now plays out in public. The Tatars have hit back at Saris Mistri, accusing him of making unsubstantiated claims and malicious allegations. Tata Sons have said the former chairman was fully empowered to lead the group, but he had lost the confidence of the board. So he was on the board of Tata Sons as a director from, I think, 2006. So all these decisions which are questionable, uh, I mean, how are they coming up only now? This comes a day after Cyrus Mistry's five-page confidential letter was leaked. A letter in which the former chairman of the Tata Group made serious charges against Ratan Tata. I believe three of the Tata bo independent board members joined in August and in two months they made up their mind that their chairman was incompetent. Is that the sign of good corporate governance? So that's what has compromised the Tata Sons and the Tata board now rather than what Cyrus Mistry has written.